Hi, I'm Casey with Henry Shine's Integrated Design Studio. Today we're going to utilize 3D walkthrough technology to bring you through a combination general and oral surgery practice just over 4,000 square feet. With the unusual footprint, the designer was able to create distinct zoning and circular flow for optimal efficiency. The waiting area is split on either side of the vestibule. On the one side is a quiet waiting space ideal for guests accompanying patients to an oral surgery appointment. On the other side is a more open space across from reception. Through the clinical door, we enter an intersection at the heart of the practice. To the right is the oral surgery wing. On the other side is the general treatment suites, and across from reception is a fully accessible treatment room with the private hall behind. Before we move further into the space, if you find this content useful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Henry Shine Dental YouTube channel to stay in the know on the latest dental design trends and inspiration. At the center of the practice is the imaging alcove with the consultation room opposite. This area is convenient for patients for either specialty. Let's move further down this wing to the oral surgery suites. There are two large treatment suites and a sterilization area. Due to the size of the practice and unique layout, the designer created two sterilization centers for optimal efficiency per treatment zone. This building has an additional front entrance. This is ideal for circular flow, but also for those receiving surgical treatment. These patients may be recovering from sedation and appreciate additional privacy as they exit. This checkout station is conveniently located adjacent to the vestibule for a quick exit. This checkout also supports the rest of the practice and allows the waiting room to be slightly more condensed due to the single direction of traffic. Back at the center of the practice is the other sterilization center. Unlike the oral surgery sterilization, this center is dual entry. Across from sterilization is a bulk storage closet. There are four general treatment rooms with a standard setup of dual entry and two side cabinets. Each room also includes a seat at the toe of the chair for guests or as a place to set personal belongings. Back out into the hall and past sterilization is the fully accessible treatment room. Having a room that can physically accommodate a patient in any size wheelchair is rare. People with disabilities often find it difficult to access proper care, especially when it comes to dental procedures. Dentists and wheelchair-bound patients are also typically wary of transferring to a dental chair as this can be a dangerous procedure if not done correctly. Wheelchair tilts are a great solution for the standard wheelchair that is unable to tilt or recline itself. The patient can remain safely within their wheelchair and the procedure can be done ergonomically like in a typical treatment room. Across the hall and adjacent to the sterilization is the lab. This room contains ample counter space and storage. Past the lab is the beginning of the private zone. There is a large staff lounge with storage closets and lockers. Next is a private office and at the end of the hall is a private entry and exit for staff. Thank you for joining this episode of Floor Plan Friday. If you're looking for more design inspiration, check out our website at henryshineintegrateddesignstudio.com. And don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be notified of all future videos.